Wood smoking on my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats over achieving, never slack. And I am back. We got Ryan up church. We're gonna hop right into this. This is titled Getting Cancelled Doesn't Exist, and I need to hear something real. So, so I, I went to this video, I just need to hear something real, right? So, with that being said, let's do it. All right, I ain't seen nobody else talk about this. I don't know why, it's pretty obvious, but uh, yeah. Being canceled is not a real thing. It's just not. It's another way, another form, the best form of advertising products to the people that already watch them. Why are they advertising to people who already like you and follow you? Because it finds other people that are along the same exact demographic and it even grabs all them or people who are more eligible to buy whatever product you're selling as the person getting canceled or mm -hmm. advertised to the max. It's all about the money. The money, the money, the money. It's all about the money. Yeah. yeah they don't give a fuck. They want your money. <laughs> you ever notice how everybody who gets canceled ends up being like more famous afterwards? <laughs> more rich and more stuck up. <laughs> you ever go back and look at their like apologies and shit how it looks staged mm, it's because yeah. they know that it's like a it's to pull pull people in but here's the thing they used to so pr pr so pretty much what he's saying like a publicity stunt you know just to to get people talking get things get people to really pay attention so i, I get where he's going with it stuff like politics they use stuff like a fucking, you know, personal interest that's only supposed to be behind your fucking bedroom door that nobody else wants to hear about. Just like a bunch of unnecessary, stupid fucking drama that don't have to exist at all whatsoever. And, and that's the thing. It's not shit that just like naturally happened and it's an actual situation. No, they sat down and planned this shit. The artists, the labels, they all plan it. And you know who they plan this shit on? They plan it on the fucking person who likes their music. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, person who already bought every fucking album I ever sold. <laughs> Buy them again. And again and again. <laughs> what, you already bought all my merch shirts? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, I'm getting canceled. Ah. Oh. Oh, somebody buy all my shit, please. I'm, I'm canceled. That's why you see shit like, oh, little girl asked Miranda Lambert for a photo. Oh, God, God damn. Oh, God damn, into the world. <laughs> oh, so-and-so got hit with a shoe. So-and-so got hit with a phone. So-and-so fucking, he fucking tweeted this. And now this other tweeter person's like, nope, you can't tweet that. Then there's a whole tweet war. It's all like a bad vibe type shit. Yeah. Twitter. This is where most of this shit goes down is Twitter. You ever looked up the definition of a twit? Yeah, I'll do it for you. Definition of a twit. One thing about Upchurch, I could tell he he's somebody who loves history. He's somebody who studies. Um, he's somebody who's a lot smarter than the average person might think. I could just read those things off of him. And by the way, I just absolutely love that land he's standing on. It just kind of reminds me of my land a little bit. It looks really nice. And I know that probably had nothing to do with what I'm what he's saying, but. Had to put that out there because at the end of the day, so many people chasing the light, fame, and all this stuff get you a little bit of land and grow your own food, by the way. But we're going to continue. It. A silly or foolish person. Sheesh. But look, let's just take the music industry, for instance. It's never about the music. The music is what sells because that's the product when these people get quote unquote canceled. It ain't getting canceled. It's getting fucking advertised to the maximum. Has yeah. to go viral. Nothing good goes viral. It's only bad shit that goes viral. What do they got to do? Come up with some bad vibe schemes. So your brain's like, yep, got to support him. I'm going to buy their music because yeah. I agree with something that ain't got nothing to do with music. Yeah. <laughs> so really, it's like a mix between MK Ultra, Ooh. fucking WWE. Uh-oh. He dropping some stuff. He's dropping some stuff. Listen. <sighs> and country shit. If you're talking about the country music scene. I mean, look, this morning we wake up. Just so happens. Uh oh, Jason Aldean getting canceled because of his song, Try That in a Small Town. Then look, they already had all these fucking interviews set up so they could repeat that over and over and over. So everybody's like, what? I haven't heard that song. <laughs> and they go look it up. What? 
What? What? What? Other, what am I being a hater? I ain't being a fucking hater. I mean, it's true because it's like you ever go look at the comments too, like, and when you look at the comments, it's like it's a certain theme within the comments that almost seems like it's bots. Like you know how many times I'll see, I'm a black man, but such and such and such with this message. I'm a 40-year-old black woman from da 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 and I agree with this message, and hey, I'm a 32-year-old Native American, and I da 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 It's like, it starts to feel robotic. Like, what the heck is going on? Like, it's just... <laughs> the song is called Try That in a Small Town. Do you think anybody in a fucking small town is going to be like, hey, why'd you make that song about defending <laughs> small towns? No, it's not. It's going to be the opposite kind of person, mm -hmm. which is going to make the small town people want to buy it more. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, if you want to make motherfuckers have commotion and, you know, argue over politics and all this shit to sell a song, you can, but I'm not. You think small town country people are going to... I got so much respect for Ryan up church. Salute, brother. Seriously. Salute. Going to cancel Jason Aldean for making a song called Try That in a Small Town? Talking about defending a small town? No. It's going to already be the people who don't fucking like him. So what was the point in even mentioning it in the first place? There was zero point. If, if an artist stands behind the song and what the song says and they meant that shit and they recorded it, then they shouldn't be they shouldn't be explaining shit to fucking nobody. They should be like, fuck you, motherfucker. I thought about this when I put the song out. So. <laughs> but there is a point, though. I need the money out of your wallet because small towns. Come on, give it up. Now let's mm -hmm. backtrack to the Morgan Wallen shit. Mm-hmm. Who got the ring doorbell camera footage of Morgan Wallen? Really, though? Who got the footage and edited the footage? Why is there no videos of him saying nigga? Because they wanted you to think he said it a different way, dude. They wanted you, they wanted him to say it spelt a little different, so they just bleeped it out. It's bleeped out. You don't know if he said it. It's bleeped out. You don't know if he said nigga is like friend, a slang term. You don't know if he said it with the hard R. You don't know if he said a whole different word. It's bleeped out. You don't know. Which makes your brain fucking wonder. Did he say it? Didn't he? Who fucking knows? So what? People argue. He did. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No one knows. It's fucking bleeped out because it's edited. Because it's fucking bullshit, fake shit. Then what happened right after that? The apology and then... The radio tour, the the apology tour. So what? Everybody gets played, everybody argues, everybody gets mad for a whole ass week for no reason, and the person who got canceled is in fact not canceled and has a fuck ton of more money from starting a conflict with the people who like him and don't like him. Then what? Then you're trending on every social media site. Then your fucking record sales go fucking through the roof. But guess what? Not one guitar has to be strummed. Only string getting played is a heart string, baby. Well, then listen, I ain't hating. I, ain't I just want people to be aware. So when you see this shit that pops up about your favorite artist and, oh, God damn, look at this. Be careful what you engage in and what you don't. And if you got any sense, you can see which one is fake and made up and which one isn't. Fake it till you make it. Oh, shit. Where'd that come from? They're starting to do it mildly right now. They've been doing this kind of shit for, like, a grip. But it's about to get real intense. And you're about to see a lot of artists having a bunch of fucking dilemmas that are not real. You know why? Because billboards don't fucking work anymore. Nobody listens to I mean, a good example, too, is randomly, like, look at Chicago... And all of a sudden, all these, like, King Von videos are coming out with him, like, you know, um, allegedly, do you know, saying something that was considered gay to another inmate and then fights and all this stuff. This just, to me, it's just a promotion right there so they could get more sales. You know, it might even been a, a strategy where it's like, okay, whoever's got the rights or whatever, it's like, okay, it might not, you know, because his album just dropped. So it might be like, okay, it's not doing what we wanted to do in the first week. Hit the bu hit the button, you know, like like plankton and sponge. Hit the button, you know, just all of a sudden these videos start coming out, unseen footage, King Von in jail fighting, like uh, just random stuff. Advertisements on the fucking radio. Nobody picks up flyers. No, that shit don't exist no more. They had to find another way. So would they pick Days of Our Lives? 
literally the <laughs> days of our lives. Well. <laughs> you'll know when they start acting like drama queens, you'll know. You'll know who's playing you and who ain't, Bo. That's all I gotta say. See y'all. <laughs> I'm church of character, man. But he a character that spit that truth, man. And he 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 calls out the BS and he he does. He calls out the BS. And um I see it. I see what he's talking about for sure. I actually just reacted to that video. Um, you know, can't or try that in a small town or whatever. And everything he's saying makes a lot of sense. It really does. So salute, salute, salute. Getting canceled doesn't exist. He's letting y'all know the marketing strategies and schemes and stuff that be going on. And honestly, I'm at the point where it's like, guys, I don't even care anymore. Like I bet like I bet just go ride a bike at this point. And not even care about what be going on on the internet or outside. Just go for a walk. Go jump in a lake or something. You know, I'm just... It's tiring. It's tiring. But with that being said, much love. And uh, everybody, stay free. Out, Stay free mentally, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually. Stay free out there.